I want to bring in now Dr. Michael Brennan, the Chief Hurricane Specialist at the National Hurricane Center. Doctor, thank you for being with us. As you're waking up this morning, what is most concerning as you now have a better sense of where the storm is headed when it comes to Florida? Well, right now we're most concerned about the lower Florida Keys that are actually right in the eye wall of Irma right now, and that's where those peak 130 mile per hour winds are. Uh, we saw a wind gust of about 90 miles an hour here at the Key West National Weather Service office, and that's just just outside the, the core of the eye wall there. So conditions are much much worse uh, a little farther east, areas like Big Pine Key up to about mile marker 40 on US 1. And uh, as you were just talking about, that worst of that storm surge is going to be happening like right there on the east side of the eye is that really strong winds are driving that ocean water into the lower keys and that's where we're going to see that five to ten feet of storm surge above ground level so really life-threatening surge that's why people were asked to leave the keys um, anybody left there needs to be taking shelter from the wind but also being aware that the water is coming up and is going to stay up for quite some time we've heard estimates from five to ten to fifteen feet that's a pretty sizable variance what makes the difference between five which may not be deadly and twelve or fifteen well, fives can be pretty deadly. I mean, you don't want to be floating around in water up yeah. to your up to your shoulders. But but what happens is in the southwest part of Florida, up here between say Captiva, which is up near Sanibel Island, all the way down to Cape Sable, the bathymetry of the Gulf of Mexico is really shallow water, so the water really piles up in these regions. And so as uh, as Irma goes by on the west side, those winds from coming from the northwest are just going to push the Gulf of Mexico up onto the land here and really pile that water up. And that's a very susceptible area. For storm surge, you can see how far inland our storm surge warning goes here, away from the coast, up these rivers to like Fort Myers and Cape Coral. That's uh, that's where we can see that peak surge. But even all the way up into Tampa Bay, we could be looking at at five to eight feet up in here. And you know, there's millions of people that live in the Tampa Bay area, right along the bay and along the ocean front. So it's a, everybody here, a little farther north, still has some time to prepare and get out before the uh, the tropical storm force winds get there later today. Dr. Michael Brennan, National Hurricane Center. Busy day for you. We'll let you go. Thank you.